First at five tonight for roughly two decades, Muskegon Heights schools has struggled with crippling debt to the tune of more than $30 million. But that could all change thanks to legislation forgiving the debt now on the governor's desk. Our Julie Dunmeyer here with more. Muskegon Heights schools has struggled to pay back the debt they owe the state of Michigan. They've been reportedly chipping away at that debt for the last few years, but it would have taken them much, much longer to pay off. Now they may not have to. So this is a great, exciting day for Muskegon Heights. Redell Holmes, superintendent for Muskegon Heights Public School Academy System, says it's a good day to be a tiger. First of all, I'd like to thank the governor and all the uh, state legislators who uh, passed the bill from the uh, supplemental bill uh, to forgive the debt uh, for Muskegon Heights Public Schools Academy. For more than a decade, Muskegon Heights Public School Academy system has been in the red. Uh, it was a long time debt that's been hanging over our heads for years. That could all change with one signature from the governor directing Michigan's Department of Treasury to pay off more than $30 million owed by the district. It really gives us an opportunity to now to sort of rebuild the whole entire structure of our school. Holmes says if signed, this would effectively dissolve the school's charter system, which has been in place for more than 10 years. Muskegon Muskegon Heights would, in every way, start running as a traditional public school system once again. Now it put us back in the driver's seat. It won't be without challenges, but Holmes says he's up to the task, adding that because they'd be returning to a public school model, it will be easier to find willing, qualified teaching staff, something the district has struggled with over the last few years. But I am so excited right now. I mean, I just, I've been shouting for joy all day because I've been waiting for this moment to happen. The superintendent tells me he plans to host a community wide celebration to commemorate this moment in the coming weeks. For now, reporting in Muskegon Heights, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.